Stuff is an accessory designed to help you maximize your workouts. Hey Sharks, I'm MT, and these are my business partners, Braxton and Aclemus. And we're here seeking $100,000 for 5% of our company, Metric Mate. Hey guys, this is pretty tense. They gonna go get some reps in to get pumped. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna flash back a few years ago to watch Braxton do this workout before Metric Mate. All right, he's in the gym. He's got a pen and paper in hand. Looks like he's gonna write down his exercises and his reps. A great idea. If it was 1962, come on, pen and paper. Strike one for that and throw in another strike for the tight t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he didn't even bring the paper from last time. He's guessing about everything. What is he doing today? Is he even making progress? Sorry, Braxton. Strike three, you're out. Sharks, let me introduce you to your new best friend, Metric Mate a patented platform that allows you to turn any gym equipment into smart equipment. Not only does it seamlessly track your reps and your sets, the platform analyzes your workout to provide more useful, here we go, metrics like caloric burn, intensity, force, fatigue, even if you're at risk for injury. All of this information can be shared with your personal trainer, your coach, your physical therapist, even millions of your social media followers. All to increase accountability, but more importantly, to promote healthier lifestyles. Sharks, invest in Metric Mate so we can make sure your bottom and your bottom line get in shape. Now, we've got the Metric Mate technology set up, and we're looking for somebody that might want to show the world how Metric that Mate works. So you got Arr. it, big guy. So go ahead, join us at the, the shoulder press machine. Now, two of the things that Metric Mate takes into account is one, your tempo, and two, we're looking for a full range of motion. All right, Mark, all you have to do is follow the prompts as you hear it. Okay. It's gonna automatically connect to the device, and That's all cool. that after that. Mark, begin your workout. One. So if you're not doing the rep correctly, you don't get your rep count. Got two. Right? So you gotta burst on that, oh. on that up, got and then. Just one more. That's cool. Mark said complete, but that was lackluster. Are Ooh. you really a shark? <laughs> oh. 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 Machine's working. <laughs> I love Thanks it. Thanks so much. So there's a device that goes on the machine and there's an app that you guys are building? That's correct. So the device is what we use to collect the data that yeah. no other type of equipment has. But in particular, if you're traveling or if you're at a different gym, putting your pin in and letting it connect the Bluetooth was actually pretty slick. Now the question I have is, can I do it on a phone because being able to see it is important. Absolutely, so most of the time you're using it on your mobile phone, but also you could have it in your pocket, you have your headphones in. And it's talking guided. to you, right? You're, you're not even using our about guided that, right? workout. So our metric made assistant is giving you the instructions. Right. Besides being maybe a health enthusiast, are you engineers or how'd you get into this? Between the three of us, we have eight degrees. Uh, eight? So eight? Yes. Wow. We have 15 plus years experience in terms of software, manufacturing, supply chain and we got a patent lawyer over here. So you guys are real slouches, no yeah. question about it. So, so have you tested how accurate the device is or is, or is it mostly a recording product? Most of the data that we get is unique data because everything else is a wearable. You're getting the biometrics, but you're not getting what you're actually doing on the machine. We're collecting all of it and using that information along with the biometrics to bring together a full holistic picture. Okay, well that's an interesting statement right there. So you say along with the biometrics. So you're integrating to iWatches and what other devices, because that's where the biometrics are coming yeah, from. Yeah, we've built the technology to allow that. Right now, our focus is working with personal trainers to provide a service that is unparalleled. Like, I, I work the gym at every station. I want this thing. Why do I have to have a trainer involved? That's why we're here today. So. Our funding right now is limited, so our focus has been on personal trainers because they work with multiple clients. That means the client has to go to the gym with the trainer because he's got the, the device. At this point, now, once we get the funding, we're able to proliferate the hardware to now we're able to make that available to our So users what does it cost directly. you to make right now? It costs us $99 to produce at a quantity of 1,000 units, and so we could retail it for $199, which is what we plan to do. Now that we're moving towards being able to put the device in the hands of the trainers, we've got 10 devices that we're looking to sell. We've sold five before we got on here, and the only reason we didn't sell the other five is because they're sitting over here on the stage. So as soon as we get back to Atlanta, those will be packaged and sent off to trainers to start 
the revenue generation process. So if I'm looking at this as just a consumer product, I can just purchase it for $199 online at your website? So as of right now, we have pre-orders available for the end consumer, but what one of our biggest barriers of entry for going directly to the consumer is government certification. So we have about five government certifications that are between one hundred fifty dollars and $200,000 that are preventing us from being able to send this direct to consumer, which is why that b 2 b to c model that we're doing with the gyms and the personal trainers makes sense. What if I don't want any of that? You know, the cool part to me is I just want to use this as my pin and it just tracks my reps. Mark, I think what you're asking is, is there a way for just you to use it on yeah. your own? That's yes. what and I want it for. I yes. think that's the business here, guys. Yes. I mean, I think you, you have a big business well, I mean, in consumers, quick. but a small business with trainers. Look, guys, I think it's a great idea as a consumer product first. I'm really, really afraid of all the analytics. Basic analytics are okay. Here's how many reps you did. This is the machine you were on, right? But when you start getting into real analytics where you have to use the biometrics, the engineering and analytics behind that are hard, really, really hard. To me, that makes the business worse, not better. And so for those reasons, I'm out. You guys, listen, I understand your first model is to go with the trainers, and I respect that. You know your business, but I think that this would be just really great if you simplified it and just made it for consumers. Well, help us to do that, Lori. That, that's why we're here. Well, I actually am not a huge workout queen. I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Our roadblock for the consumer is the funding. So we're not opposed to it. The personal trainer is where we have access to. What bothers me about the deal is I don't know if the consumer is going to like it. You really haven't given us any evidence. They may, they may not. I don't know. It's early. So I'm out. Yeah, look, guys, I can see myself trying a product that actually does that. But my strong advice is get it into the hands of consumers. Let them tell you what's working. Maybe all they want is just instant gratification to know how many reps they've done, Understood. right? But for now, I think it's a bit early for me. And for those reasons, I'm out. So I have a company called PRX. PRX has sold millions and millions of dollars of gym equipment. We you are we've been very successful. We're building our own plant to manufacture now because wow. supply chain is so broken. So here's the offer I'm going to make you. I'll give you the 100000 you asked for. However, I want to take advantage of my PRX investment. So we're going to manufacture. That's the contingency right here. And I want, are you ready for it? 25%. What? You guys, Kevin, you, you guys need me so badly, and I know I have leverage here. You I'm should get counter. Lori, you didn't make an offer. I'm the fourth partner. I get a quarter. Unfortunately, for 25%, that's just too high for us because we put in too much. We have the patents, we have the intellectual property, we have the software guy. Is there a counter offer? We want to do $100,000, but we also want to add in a $150,000 line of credit that we can take advantage of and we want to come back at 12 and a half percent. No, I'm not doing that deal. If this needs more capital, like all of my companies, I'll figure it out. But if you want to scale this thing, we got to sell 100,000 units in a year. For 100,000, the highest we could go is 7.5. Would you be willing to increase? No, what I want to get is a quarter of the business because I'm guys, now guys, in look, it on a journey. Kevin's very direct. If there was wiggle room, he'd be wiggling. Yeah. And he's not, so you guys have got to make a decision. I'll give you one quick piece of advice, then you have to make a decision. Where are you going to be a year from now if you do get the money or if you don't? Even though it may feel painful because of all you've done to get this far. 75% of a watermelon is a whole lot better than 100% of a grape. Definitely appreciate the offer. We're going to counter. You could do 200K for 20%. And we'll be love to work with PRX to be able to make sure that we can get this thing distributed as quickly as possible. The offer I made was $100,000 for 25%. You either accept it or you don't. We thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate thank it. You. Damn, guys. Wow. Sometimes it doesn't work out. God. Indeed. Good thank luck, you. guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Best of luck. Good luck, guys. Good. Let's go do this thing here. We have no regrets walking out without a deal today. We know it will work. We can find investors in those areas that can service us the same way. But the one thing that we won't we'll be able to do if we went out with that deal is say that we stood on our values and what we came here for. Honestly, it was on them. No, it really wasn't.
They've worked really hard. They you know, have three utility patents. That doesn't patents. count. How hard the, every probably that comes there. probably cost them a lot of money. No, they didn't want to give away 25%. I did it. They Nobody does. 20. Well, I'll tell you the good news is I'm going to buy one. I don't have to buy the company, buy the product. <laughs>